Hi guys, a quick update about the £35 CEX PC. So I've spent most of this afternoon disassembling the motherboard from the Lenovo case, taking out the hard drive, uh, the DVD drive, and things like that, and being very careful and meticulous in my preparation to place this in a new case. I have came across a problem. So on this motherboard, you can see on the sort of bottom ever so slightly right, there is this thing here. That's the motherboard connector. Now, I was anticipating this, and I have got a cable arriving today for this motherboard. So Lenovo use a 14-pin a connector uh, rather than a 24-pin standard motherboard connector that comes on most power supplies. I was anticipating this, and I have this cable on the way to me today. What I wasn't anticipating, though, is something ever so slightly higher up. This thing here. This looks like a four pin CPU pin, but it's not. I'm not completely sure of what this is. I've visited the Lenovo forums and a couple of users have suggested that it looks like something that powers uh, SATA drives. I remain unconvinced. So I've got this board on the bench and I'll be testing all of this stuff with the 24 pin to 14 pin motherboard connector minus this thing here and seeing if the, it does actually boot up. It's definitely not a CPU pin as ATX 12 is here just on the side and it's definitely where I unplugged the CPU from. So I've got it on the bench board but as you can see the standoff here doesn't quite align. What I've got here is a standoff with a rubber sort of end on it so that it doesn't interfere with anything on the motherboard. When I connect the power supply, the 14 pin motherboard connects her up and give this a go, uh, be later on today. I have got a contingency though, and the contingency is this. I have just found this motherboard here. Now it's very dusty and it looks very old, but on review, this is an ASRock see if we can just get it through here. Yeah, an ASRock H61M VG4 motherboard. I know that this is an 1155 socket motherboard. I have no idea what processor is in this thing, uh, what it's capable of. I've li literally just found it amongst all the stuff that I've seen collected over the years. It's also collected a lot of dust. So this is going to be tested today. And if there are no issues, with this four pin connector here. I remain unconvinced because a few people have suggested on this particular board that it's the SATA connector. Now, I just took this PC apart and there were different SATA connections already in the hard drives uh, for SATA power. So I'm unconvinced that that's exactly what they are. But if this motherboard uh, does not run on a standard power supply, then I'm not going to try and force the matter too much. I have already got a 24 to 14 cable coming for this. And I'll be honest, guys, I don't really like using aftermarket cables to make certain hardware work. I would much rather it simply be straight from the power supply straight to the motherboard. So I'm already not a fan of these kind of cables. I'm sure there's a cable out there if it ends up not working that would get this motherboard working with that four pin uh, connector there, but I'm already a bit wary about using additional cables on these things, so I'm not going to try and force the matter too much. This motherboard doesn't work later on, then we will be trying out the ASRock H61M VG4 motherboard with its mystery processor. It'll need a good clean, but as I said the other day in my other video. There's no point cleaning something up before you test that it actually works because otherwise you'd have wasted your time. So this is benching today. If that doesn't work, this is benching tomorrow and we'll go from there. We will get a working PC out of this. So even if this motherboard here doesn't, doesn't work correctly uh, without additional cables, uh, I still have the memory stick. I still have the 
DVD drive. I still have the hard drive that originally came out, came out of this thing. And I also have the power supply, which is non-standard, but I still have the power supply, which could be useful in something else in the future. I also have in this PC an i5-4460S as well, which again can be saved for the future. So it's not a complete loss if the £35 PC turns out to be something that we can't progress much further than this. Even if that is the case, we've got our 1155 socket motherboard here, and we'll see what we can do with that instead. I've got a nice shiny new case for it. So this is one of those things I only want to do once, because I don't want to be taking it apart again. Hence, the, both motherboards will be going on the bench board before they go in my nice shiny new SIT Dark Star PC case. Anyway, quick update. Hope to have more for you in the near future. Thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, see you.